Jay Rock percent off collector and we're here with another what's in the box episode and if you're joining us for the first time thank you basically with what I'm doing with what's in the box is when I go around to estate sales garage sales thrift store stuff like that and pick up loose figures things like that I usually end up getting a bunch of them all together and I just geek out looking and seeing what I got so all these here I got from an estate sale um, all these are about 50 cents each. Uh, maybe even some were a little bit less. Because I think when I said, oh, I'll take the whole box, um, they gave me a really good deal. I think, like, really, it was like $7, $8 for all of this. And it's like, I, I just like to have this stuff because growing up, I played with a lot of the same toys, actually. You know, I grew up with G.I. Joe, He-Man, Transformers, Thundercats, uh, Mask those are mainly the ones that i played with um so i had some of the old star wars kenner line but not a lot i mean i love the movies but i just didn't have a lot of the toys so now that i'm collecting i like to get a lot of these things for free just so i can experience it and anyone who's in the collecting knows that a lot of the stuff from episode one power of the force stuff like that a lot of people were hoarding it trying thinking that it was going to be worth a lot and this estate sale kind of played that out <laughs> because there was a lot of in-package uh, Power of the Force, things from like 1995 and, you know, around that time. And it wasn't selling. And on the final day, they made things, I think it was 70, 80 percent off. And that's when some of them sold. So, hey, for me as a percent off collector, that works great. Um, I didn't actually date all these, so for you Star Wars fans out there, if you can help me identify some of these, I assume these must be a little bit newer. Um, I didn't see an actual date on these, so I don't know exactly when this came out. Now, obviously, this one is, is kind of jacked up. It's kind of funny. I used the Google Glass, and <laughs> it actually showed another one that looked like exactly like this to the point where I was like... Wait, this is not how it's supposed to look, is it? I mean, this one has more articulation than you would normally see. So I'm assuming that in this case, this is a newer figure. But you guys let me know. And then looks like these are pretty much the same ones, I assume, right? I mean, you know, this one has black and it's a little bit different. On the face, yeah, it's different. So it's not the same. But it looked kind of like in the same vein. It's kind of hard to do stormtroopers identification unless you really are an expert on the figures just because when you scan it it'll come up with so many things unless there's some kind of identifying marker that will help um you know google glass or ebay or whatever identify it i mean one of the difference i do see here is in the pocket you actually have room for his blaster where on this one it's closed it's kind of cool a little dots on it though he has one on both sides so that's interesting but i mean this is this is good for my larger characters um for taking pictures i do that on my instagram page percent off collector you can check that out if you wish so i mean this is identical to that last one so i always like getting these larger uh figures because that's the main meat of my collection are five inches and up most of the time six inches so to get these, um, you know, basically, like I said, 50 cents or less per piece is, is nice. And I, like I said, I enjoy Star Wars. They've kind of got oversaturated a little bit now um, with the market. But it's, you know, it is what it is. I, I watched uh, a lot of the cartoons and Cartoon Network and stuff like that. And that was cool. Um, but as far as toys, yeah, I didn't really collect a lot of toys. So this is a TIE Fi, uh, I mean, a TIE uh, Pilot. And I always like these guys because I just, I love the black on it. Um, I just think it looks cool. I love like the little apparatus here. It's really a good looking figure. The black and the silver. This one's from 95. Oh no, 96. So yeah, all these are right in that 95 and up line. You know, you see it has kind of like that old school Kenner amount of articulation where it's no bending anywhere but still cool little figures just to, to go along with it uh and then we have another trooper here that has 
more yellowing. Maybe, maybe that's uh, his, his son, you know, trying to grow up to be like dad <laughs> with that uniform like that. This one does have uh, more uh, bendability. Bendability. Ow, my good. Bendability. Uh, let me see. I, I don't think the camera, the camera does not want to focus on this. But I don't think it has... Oh, 97. So, okay. So, this is from 1997. So, yeah. All these are, like, in that same vein. Okay. So, another older one. We got Han on Hoth. That's cool. Oh, this one, it's, it's kind of interesting that it's, like, sealed. You can't see anything there. So, again, like, most of the old school Kenner type of articulation... Got Lando. He got almost like that Superman chest. Look at that. Look at them abs, man. Look at that. Damn, man. Welcome to the gun show, brother. <laughs> it's like, man. Yeah, so this one, 95. Kenner style. <clears throat> well, it's from Kenner, so obviously, right? Um, then we have Leia. Face is kind of interesting. Actually, so there is, you can see down here, there was a, a bunch of these that were in here too. I think all of these go with the figures. Like, see, Lando has a hole back here, so I'm pretty sure it's like that. You just gotta get it correctly. But yeah, so it's basically, that's, that's his cape, so that goes with that. Um, I assume this is part of hers because it has the silver around the top. Is this like, I think this is a dress though, right? I'm assuming this is like this, right? Let me know Star Wars fans if I'm getting this wrong. But I think it's like this and then, is that the cloak like that? Is that how it's supposed to be? It's kind of weird with the with the cloak or cape, I guess, depending. So I think that's how it's supposed to be. But let me know if I have it wrong. I'm pretty sure that the dress is correct, but I'm, I, and it, it, I mean, it looks cool with the, with the cape, but let me know if I have that wrong. And then we have old Ben Kenobi and I'm pretty sure that this is his. Which is cool. You see, you put that on him, and now he's ready to go. Got to put your put your coat on. <laughs> but that's pretty nice, and I'm pretty sure this was same thing. Yeah, ninety six. So I mean, we have ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven. Uh, we have the bike trooper. This one must be a little bit newer because it has more articulation to it. I like the way the bike troopers look, just the, the little difference in it made it nice. And then they had a bunch of these, which I think were really cool. I don't have the mechanism to play these, um, but I do like how they come. Like if you can see here, you got the face, actual picture. You can see the chip here that interacts when you have the actual device that can play it. And then on the bottom, you have the name Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Knight, apprentice to Quan Jin. So, very cool. I mean, a little dirty, but I love that it's also the stand. So it, it, it makes it so that you don't lose it. Now here's Mr. Infamous. <laughs> Misa, Misa not going to spend too much time on you. But same thing, Jar Jar Brinks, tells you the status, all that. Cool stand. Got my man. I got a special set of skills, Jedi skills. <laughs> I like that this one had, the. Um, this is the only one that had a weapon. So that was cool just to have that. And I'm pretty, I think you can remove it, right? Yeah, you can actually take this out. So I could use this for other figures. So I'm happy 
that I was able to get one that actually had a lightsaber. But again, you can see the way it looks down there. Status Jedi Master. Got Watto here. With the belly. Really nice designs on these though. I mean like, you're not gonna... I get that probably the idea with this was pretty much to have them just standing there. So it's, I don't think that you were, it was really thought of like a place set. I mean, I'm sure they sell it like that anyway, just because it increases the chances that kids will buy it. But it almost feels like this was just made to be displayed. And then we have Senator Palpatine with his cool outfit. I really like the way this looks. I mean, it, it does, you know, sound, not sound, but it does have that visual, like, you know, you're an important person with the little gold. It almost looks like stars on the buttons, the way the robes are. I mean, even here where it opens up, the gold up here, the black, the blue, all of it looks really nice on him. And then here you can see Senator Palpatine, a boo senator, member of the Galactic Senate. So... These are ones that I picked up, and as I said, I'm I'm really happy with these. It was a good pickup. I think in the end, I really think I spent like only eight bucks on all of this, uh, which really made me happy. And I'm really curious to know from collectors who do go out and get loose figures, because for me, I had a lot of fun. For me, why I started as Percent Arts Collector was because I had fun finding a deal. Um, growing up not having a lot of money, you know, even now I can buy things, it's still built into me to find a deal. And when I'm able to find something really cool for a low price, that's almost as exciting as the item itself. And that's why in, in some cases I don't mind uh, if it's loose, if it's a little scuffed up. It, it just gives me a chance to experience a whole bunch of figures for a low cost that I would have never done anyway. I probably would have not bought any of these, uh, you know, just going to a store or online. It just wasn't something I look at. But if I see it in uh, a bag at the thrift store, you know, really cheap at a state sale or a garage sale, sure, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm cu curious to know other collectors, do you feel the same way? Or has things changed to where you really want things in box? Whether you open it or not, you want it brand new. But either way, if you like these types of shows, please let me know in the comments. Give me a like, sub, you know, all that YouTube stuff that everyone asks for. Unfortunately, YouTube makes us do that. Like, honestly, i rather just make the videos. And if you guys want to watch, you do. Doesn't matter if you all want to watch a few minutes or you want to stay for the whole thing. I, I'd like you to stay. I hope I'm doing a decent job. But, you know, look, I know everyone's busy. Everyone, you got millions of things to watch. So I appreciate taking the time to hang out with me. But until next time, remember my motto, no discount, no deal. Catch you next time and may the force be with you.